Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Nick Gray, and today I have a smartphone camera test for you guys with the all new OnePlus 9 Pro, which was just unveiled. And you probably already know this by now, but OnePlus is collaborating with Hasselblad for its cameras on its 9 series this year to give it better photos. But as far as we know so far, it's simply tuning of the camera sensors and they really haven't worked on sensor development or any of the hardware on the device itself. But that hardware on the cameras is actually pretty good when compared to what we got last year on the 8 Pro with a new Sony IMX789 for the main camera sensor which was developed in collaboration with Sony and then the Sony IMX766 for the ultra wide camera which is the camera that I really loved from the Oppo Find X3 Pro. And then rounding things out, we have a two megapixel monochrome sensor and then an eight megapixel zoom camera that delivers 3.3x magnification. As far as the selfie camera goes though, it's a little bit disappointing to see that we're using the same 16 megapixel sensor as last year, which maxes out at 1080p video for videos from the selfie camera, but we do get 8K video capture at 30 frames per second from the rear sensors or also 4K video at 60 FPS. So now that we've got the specs of the cameras on the OnePlus 9 Pro all squared away, let's go out and take some photos and videos in a variety of different lighting conditions to see how the OnePlus 9 Pro stacks up in everyday use. And this here's a look at video from the front facing camera. Unfortunately, you are limited to only 1080p video while other flagship tier devices are shooting 4K video from the front facing camera like the Galaxy S21 series this year. But you can go up to 60 frames per second from the front facing camera, which is something that not a whole lot of devices are doing as of yet.
here's a look at video recorded in low light conditions on the ultra wide camera, which does extremely well, just as we saw on the Oppo Find X3 Pro, which uses the same exact sensor for the ultra wide camera. Switching over to the main camera and then zooming in a lot closer. Very impressive performance for low light conditions from a smartphone. So one thing that's a little bit odd here is that you can record video with the ultra wide camera, the main camera, which I'm switching to right now, and then it does show zoom, which zooms into 2x. This is actually a 2x digital crop on the main sensor and not really using the 3x zoom camera on the back. A bit of an odd choice since we really haven't seen this from other manufacturers for going using the zoom camera for recording video. And that's going to do it for this camera test with the OnePlus 9 Pro. Let me know what you think of the results in the comments below and whether or not you think this is good enough to be your day-to-day -day device for capturing photos and videos. I do have a, a full camera comparison between this smartphone and a lot of other devices that are currently on the market, so make sure you subscribe for that and stay tuned for our full review as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.